What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Mod Loader for all versions of Minecraft 1.5 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Finder and go to your user folder. In this case, this is my user folder right here. And as you can see in your sidebar, you might not have the library folder. This is due to Mac OS X Lion and Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Apple decided to take away the library folder. However, you need to get it back and this is very, very important for this tutorial. So open up an application called Terminal and you wanna type in this code. It is ch flags no hidden squiggly slash library slash like like that now I will copy and paste this code in the description below so you all can copy this and put it into your terminal window to make it easy for you and then when I click enter the library folder is back as you can see so now I'm just going to exit out of terminal now keep your finder window open this is very 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 important that you keep this open then go on your web browser in this case I'm using Safari and Google Mod Loader, it, it is spelled M-O-D-L-O-A-D-E-R. And um, hopefully that was correct. And um, you should, and the first result should be the link to this website right here called the Minecraft Forums. And um, if you scroll down, you should see a download that says Mod Loader 1.5. And then you wanna click Download Direct. Now, as you can see, I have already downloaded the file. And as you can see, it didn't, come as a uh, zip file it actually came as a regular folder now I can explain why this happens if you are on Safari that is because you have this option checked in your preferences this says open safe files after downloading this means that Safari opens files that it that it thinks are not harmless to your computer and pretty much um, opens it for you so I think it's a pretty useful feature so as you can see mod loader is downloaded and I'm just going to put the mod loader file um, I'm just gonna leave it in my downloads folder for now then uh, go back to your finder when your finder window right here go into library application support Minecraft and then this is the part where you are going to have to listen very very carefully so these are the files that you need to drag onto your desktop to save the options.txt file your saves file your stats file your servers file and your texture packs file save those keep those on your desktop and then select everything else and delete them just like that all right so far so good then open up minecraft i'm just going to log in here remember to click remember password go to options click force update click done then click login this will download new files to your minecraft folder and as you can see, this might take a little, this might take a while, but actually, no, never mind. It's actually going pretty fast. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> and for some reason on the Mac, after you force update your Minecraft, it freezes. Do not worry. This is not an issue. Here's how you fix it. Go to your Apple logo. Go to the, the force quit menu. Select Minecraft. Click force quit. And there you go. Um, now reopen your Minecraft just like that. Go to login. Now, as you can see, it um, it logs in just fine. So there is um, there's really nothing wrong with it. it. It's just a glitch. Then click quit game. Now, what you want to do is select all of the files you just dragged onto the desktop and put them into your Minecraft folder, replacing some of the files that it just downloaded. Click apply to all and click replace. So far, so good. All right. Now go to now go back to your downloads folder, take your mod loader folder and bring that to the desktop just like that. Now go into your bin folder, go over here to minecraft.jar, press the enter key, go directly to the extension and do minecraft.zip like that. And then double click it to unzip the file. All right. And now what you want to do is delete this .zip file and rename this Minecraft folder here to Minecraft.jar. Click Add. And now in your Minecraft.jar folder, scroll down to where it says Meta INF. It should be a folder. Um, it's somewhere here. Click that and move the Meta INF file to the trash. 
Now go to your mod loader folder, select all of the class files in the mod loader folder and drag them into your minecraft.jar folder, just like that. Click apply to all and click replace. All right. Now to make sure that you have successfully put mod loader into your Minecraft game. Now to check and see if mod loader truly worked, open up your Minecraft game and press the login button. And if you have a successful login, that means you installed mod loader correctly. All right, as you can see, successful login, mod loader was installed correctly. Now, how do you install mods? So, quit out of Minecraft, go back to your finder, go to library, application support, Minecraft. And as you can see, you want to go to bin and minecraft.jar. You, when you download a mod, you will drag the class files into this folder as well. So, yeah, that is pretty much how it works. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I helped you all, and I hope you have fun with your new mods on Minecraft. And, um, yeah, all right, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I would be very, very happy to answer that. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to stay tuned in for more gaming, tech tutorials, and reviews, feel free to hit that subscribe button on the screen or down below your pick. And um, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, feel free to hit that like button down below as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, signing off.